morning. I'm currently on my morning walk. It's something I do every day when I wake up. Right now, it's just gone past six o'clock and I've got a very busy day today and I'm also traveling tomorrow. But I wanna ask you guys a question. What would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? Who would you become? What would your days look like? Let me know in the comments below. I'm back here in Manchester after two long months in Dubai. It was really hot, so it was time to come back to where I know best. And to be honest, I think Manchester is the best city in the world. But yeah, there's so much going on from the businesses, from the YouTube channel. I'm also hiring for new roles. There's just so much. And to make things even more interesting, I've decided to vlog and document everything that I'm doing. Like no fancy carts, no animations, just me documenting the journey. Because what I'm doing, I want to document it and share it with you guys. So hopefully you can also get inspired and take action in your life. Achieve your goals and become great at what you do. But it all starts with your morning. As they say, win the morning, you win the day. So morning work block done. I'm now off to the gym to do some boxing and later on, I'm going for a run outdoors. Let's go. All right, how's it going? You okay? Yeah, it's been fine. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, I see you sent your CV. I'll have a look at that today. So let's start off by, can you explain to me the concepts of AWS availability zones? So I've been having calls with my students inside the Cloud Engineer Academy and getting them ready for interviews. So we've been doing mock interviews. They can book a call with me. We do one-on-one -on -one coaching. So yeah, it's really great to see how much they've all progressed throughout the last few weeks. It's very inspiring. So uh, yeah, that's really cool. Now I'm gonna tell you guys in a minute how my cybersecurity business and my Cloud Engineer Academy and my YouTube channel all work well together. So let me show you guys what my cybersecurity business actually looks like. So a lot of you are watching this on YouTube. So this is where you guys are coming in. And then I have my core product, which is my Cloud Engineer Academy. And also I'm building a cybersecurity business. But there is something that interlinks my YouTube channel, my cybersecurity business, and my Cloud Engineer Academy. And that is one thing only, which is cloud security. Cloud security is a subset of cybersecurity and of course cloud engineering. My academy is teaching people cloud skills and also now cloud security skills and then we've got this big interest of mine cybersecurity so the interconnection is cloud security and what I want to do is I want to build a business around this whole area. This is kind of what I'm doing what I'm building and I'm going to use the vlogs to document this process so if you guys want to be part of it, make sure you subscribe, like the video, drop a comment for any questions, and also check out my weekly newsletter. Since I quit my nine to five job in March, it's been full on because once you start working for yourself, there's no one on your back telling you what to do. So you have to take some responsibility. You have to take ownership of what you do every day and you need to make sure you don't fall out of line where you don't make progress, right? It's okay to have days where you just can't get work done where you feel a little bit down. As soon as you stop that momentum, it really takes a long time to get back into it. Think of it as a big snowball coming down a mountain. The longer and faster the snowball goes down the mountain, it gets bigger and bigger. So the momentum keeps building. It's the same when you're working, when you're building a business, when you're building good habits. It's all about momentum. What you wanna do is keep that momentum going keep that consistency going. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab a coffee and then I'm gonna come back. I need to film two YouTube videos and then I need to film 10 shorts for my Instagram. So by the way, if you don't follow my Instagram, check it out right here. And I've also been trying to figure out what the best way is to find clients. Of course, I can focus on YouTube and use that as an inbound generation, but the videos that I make on here isn't really gonna find me the clients that I want. As a few ways I've been thinking about getting clients. Firstly, it's running Google Ads on my cybersecurity business. I've also set up email outreach automation. So we're sending out daily emails to businesses across the Middle East and also the UK. I also just created a job description for a business development manager to join the team 
and focus on winning new business for a the cybersecurity business, but also for partners that want to hire directly from the Cloud Engineer Academy. Yes, we're training students inside the academy. Yes, I want to give them opportunity within my own cybersecurity business. I want to give them alternative options as well. So that's why we could get a business development manager to build those relationships with new businesses, partners, to try and get the students extra work experience, extra opportunities, internships, things like that. So I'm trying everything I can to find new clients for my cybersecurity business. And I think it's just a matter of time when that first client walks through the door. And when it does, I have to be ready. I have to be prepared. I already have all of my business offerings ready. It's all on the website, already made to go. And in the background, I'm gonna be building specialized cloud security software. For sure, one of the hardest things as a business owner is finding clients. And I think personally, your role as an entrepreneur, CEO, or core focus should be generating revenue into the business. And yeah, that's my core focus is how can we make more money? How can we get more sales? How can we get more clients? How can we build more products, generate more revenue, and then reinvest that revenue back into the business to grow and scale the business. So many businesses get VC funding first to then reinvest into the company and hire. I'm actually using all of my money from the Cloud Engineer Academy and I'm reinvesting it back into the business to hire a business development manager, hire a full stack engineer, and also an operational specialist to help me with the day-to-day -day running of the business. Really, really exciting times, and I can't wait to document this all for you guys. I know I've changed outfits is because I had to film a few videos and I didn't wanna wear the same top in the same videos. It's been one of those days where I've been nonstop just working and sometimes I forget that I'm filming so I need to kind of take you guys through the day. Because I get so locked in, I forget to film. But I've done a lot of filming, I've filmed two YouTube videos, I've filmed a load of shorts. I now need to do my daily newsletter that I'm sending out, check it out, link in the description. Then I've got a few more calls and then I'm gonna go for a run and then I need to edit some of the lessons from the academy. And finally, I've got a discovery call with someone who's basically gonna pitch me to help me find some cybersecurity clients. Let's see how that goes, right? I've got nothing to lose. If they find me clients, great. If they don't, well, then they don't get paid. I really like working with people who are focused on giving results or bringing results. People that trust their craft, that know they can get the job done. That's the kind of people I love working with because I'm the same. When I approach a client and I say, I'm gonna do X for you, I make sure I do that, right? Because fundamentally, your word as a founder, as a CEO, as a business owner is what matters, especially when you're pitching the clients. I think people are so tired of service-based businesses that just commit to things they cannot deliver. And definitely my cybersecurity business won't be doing that. Oh yeah, before I forget, I've also got a haircut at 5.30, so I need to get that done too, just in time for my trip tomorrow. Good morning. It's the next day today, back on my morning walk. It's 6.30. Today I'm flying to Valencia. Yesterday I got so busy and just carried away with the work that I was doing, I forgot my haircut appointment. I missed it. I thought my haircut was at 5.30. It was actually at 5, so I missed my haircut appointment. So I'm traveling with no fresh trim today. That's the first time ever. Also yesterday it dawned upon me that I'm so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Right now I've just hit 90,000, but not long until I hit the big master. To be honest, I don't really know what emotions I'm gonna be feeling when I hit that point, that 100K. And I know it's not really about subscribers on YouTube, it's about views and community. Also, I know there wasn't much about cybersecurity in the video. The truth is not much changes day to day in business, but a lot changes over time. I'm definitely gonna keep documenting the things that are happening. There's a lot of moving pieces yesterday, but the real hunt for me now is finding my first set of clients and provide them with cybersecurity or cloud security skills and give them that value. They might have, they might have been recently hacked in their cloud environment. We can help them build a more robust cloud environment, protect their assets, their data, their applications, their infrastructure. It could be they need some cybersecurity awareness training. We can do that too. It is exciting because I know every day I'm gonna get closer to finding that first big client. 
I was in Dubai a few weeks ago and I did have a potential client. Uh, it was a fintech, but after having a discovery call with them, I realized it wasn't a good fit. That's okay, right? I should be able to say no to opportunities if I don't think it's a right fit for me or for them. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog today. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, all that stuff. Hit subscribe to the newsletter as well. And also let me know what you think of these vlogs. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.